Hello Liftoff fans, we're back with another great video about space and SpaceX. The Starship is destined to go into space, deeper than anyone has ever attempted. It will be used for man's return to the moon and the colonization of Mars. Its journey to Mars will make it the farthest journey by a crewed spacecraft ever in space. Apart from transporting people, the Starship can be configured to play an essential role in space, the transportation of cargo. And Elon Musk has just revealed the new cargo Starship to win U.S. military contract. So, what is it and why has it been selected? Let's find out. When cargo is moved to space, it's called a payload, and it can vary in nature. Instruments and equipment for space science and experiments all fall into the category of space cargo. A quick example is SpaceX, which is launching satellites for the Starlink network. Those satellites count as cargo, or payload. SpaceX has more than 2,000 Starlink satellites up there in space, and it won't stop until the approved 12,000 have been launched. Starlink satellites are not the only payload SpaceX delivers to space. It also delivers cargo to the International Space Station on behalf of NASA. Elon Musk is focusing on the cargo transport sector, and he plans to revolutionize it. Musk isn't planning to make cargo transport better just in space. He plans to do the same thing on Earth. His weapon of choice to make cargo transport more efficient than we can ever imagine is the not-so-secret Starship. The Starship is the answer and probably the future of cargo travel for extraterrestrial travel and on Earth. The Starship is not a secret because you can follow it as it gets assembled on YouTube through the 24-hour cameras that SpaceX has made available. Your mind will be blown by the magnitude of work SpaceX is carrying out regarding the Starship and the plans that Musk has proposed for the Starship in the cargo transport industry will be made known in this video. 4 Reasons Why Starship is Suitable for Transporting Cargo there are at least four different things that make Starship suitable for transporting cargo. Powerful. The first reason is that it is very powerful. The heavy booster rocket, the second half of the Starship system, is the most powerful. Its collection of Raptor engines packs enough thrust to lift over 100 tons of payload into space. This bests all other available rocket systems. By default, the Starship is the best in the business for heavy lifting. It will allow you to carry as much cargo as you want. Design Another reason is the design of the Starship. It has a large volume that allows different kinds of cargo with different shapes and sizes to be fitted into it. The payload volume of the Starship is 1,100 meter cubes. You can fit a cargo of up to 18 meters in height and 9 meters in width into the Starship. Cost Another reason why the Starship is perfect for cargo transport is the cost. Most rockets are one-use items, but the Starship can be used repeatedly. Imagine how much you would have spent on transportation in a lifetime if you could only use your car once every trip. The low operational cost of the Starship makes it perfect for cargo transport. Speed The last reason why the Starship is the darling of cargo transport is its speed. This spacecraft can move at speeds up to 16,777 miles per hour, which will allow it to cover long distances in a short time frame. Most aircraft that transports cargo on Earth can only move at a fraction of that speed. The Starship can put any other airborne craft to shame with its speed. We can't put aside the fact that rockets are expensive to build. Transporting cargo with rockets might not be cost-effective. Elon Musk is working around these limitations. He claims that the Starship system will only require $900,000 worth of fuel to get into Earth's orbit. Starship's reusability means it can be operated as an airline, cutting down costs by a large margin. SpaceX has been working towards the full reusability of its spacecraft using the Falcon rocket, which is partially reusable. In the case of the Falcon, the booster is salvaged, refurbished, and reused. Both stages of the Starship system can land and be reflown many times. Musk claims that the super heavy booster which carries the Starship can be ready for another launch less than an hour after the previous launch. This reusability reduces the launch cost to about $2 million, a lot less than what other organizations spend. How does Musk plan to use the Starship to transport cargo? 
There are two areas of application that Musk is considering. Space cargo movement. The first is space cargo movement. The Starship is essential to the colonization of Mars. Musk plans to move up to 1 million volunteers to the surface of the Red Planet with the Starship. Before that can happen, some preparations have to be made. Mars has a harsh environment. The planet has to be made habitable to prevent people from dropping dead as soon as they land. This would require that a lot of cargo being moved to the surface of the Red Planet. Specialized farms to grow food, supplies, and the heavy machinery and materials needed to build shelters and launch pads will be transported as cargo. Musk also plans to produce fuel on Mars, so the Starship would have enough fuel to make the journey back home. The Starship will be the workhorse for the colonization of Mars. The Starship will be made available to everyone that needs it so that Musk will not maintain a monopoly over it. NASA is looking to establish a permanent presence on the Moon, using it as a base for the journey to Mars. It plans to use a variation of the Starship for this program, dubbed the Artemis Program. NASA plans to build a smaller space station to orbit the Moon, and it would also need the cargo Starship to lift the new space station to space when it's ready. NASA has invested up to $2.9 billion in the Starship. SpaceX has boasted about the Starship's ability to transport a space telescope even larger than the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope, which had to be folded into its launch rocket. SpaceX Need Cargo Starship Future Project The second reason SpaceX and Elon Musk need the Cargo Starship to work is the plan to use it for moving cargo on Earth. The idea is known as point-to-point -point or Earth-to-Earth -Earth transportation. The idea is to launch the Starship into low orbit where air restriction is almost zero. Under such conditions, the Starship can move with blistering speed to land on another part of the world. Due to the speed and cargo size of the Starship, more cargo can be transported in a fraction of the time it takes a cargo plane to do the same. SpaceX plans to build launch towers in several parts of the world to support this operation. The Earth-to-Earth -Earth transportation is mind-boggling in terms of flight duration. A flight from Los Angeles to New York, which is a distance of about 4,000 kilometers, will be covered in just 25 minutes instead of the usual 5 hours and 25 minutes. It will take a regular aircraft to cover that distance. Thank you for watching. We would love to see your thoughts about the content in the comments section. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications to keep you updated with Space and SpaceX latest news. See you next time.